Hello and welcome to Weekly Worship from Alconbury Weald Church. My name is Reverend Rob Patterson and I shall be leading this time of worship. Uh, our theme today, the thing we're going to be thinking about, is many parts, one body. So that's many parts, one body. So we'll be thinking about the reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, if you'd like to start off this time of worship by listening to a song, then there's a song one link below uh, in the further information uh, underneath the video picture. And that's a link to a song by Matt Redman and the song's called The Heart of Worship. So why not have a click on that and listen to that song and then come back. So pause me and listen to the song. OK, we now come to our opening sentence. So a bit of stillness. Holy God, you are with us always. Help us to remember you in the everyday. OK, now, if you've got a candle at home, then do light it. But I'm going to light the church candle on behalf of all of us as well. Just helps to create a focal point. There we go. And now our opening prayer. So let's pray. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, understand and inwardly digest them, so that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. OK, challenge time. That's what normally happens around this part of the service. Uh, this time it's um, guess the missing details. And actually there's a link, link two in the further information underneath the video picture. Uh, you'll find a, li a link to the Tate Gallery. Um, it is for kids uh, under games and quizzes, but it's quite good fun to do. So why don't you click on that link and just go through the what are the missing details? Um, I think there's nine to look at. Uh, it's a lot of fun as well, so do have a go at that. So pause me and uh, click on link to. So there's uh, two questions we're going to be thinking about today um, under the theme of many parts, one body. And uh, one question is, can you translate this reading into an alternative image to the body image that Paul uses? And a, a second question is, what skills and interests do you have? OK, we now come to our time of saying sorry to God, which we always do near the beginning of our service. And for today, just put one arm behind your back and just wait for a moment. Now, this is just a symbol of how sometimes we go through life with one arm behind our back, not allowing uh, God into our lives or ignoring God. Uh, ignoring the nudges that God might be uh, giving us in the way we live our everyday lives. And that's, uh, so take a moment now to just uh, close your eyes and think about times when perhaps you have ignored God and have gone about life with one arm behind your back. Okay, and then we're going to say sorry God together on three. One, two, three, sorry God. And now no as you take your arm from behind your back, know that you are forgiven, that God forgives you. And uh, repent means to turn as well. So when we say sorry, we're turning from having one arm behind our back and we're trying to have two arms free so that we're able to uh, commit to sort of turning to trying to listen to God and to be open to those nudges uh, through our everyday lives. So, our Bible reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and this is taken from that. I'm just doing a slightly edited, shortened, as it were, version um, for this service. But you can look up the full text if you want to. So we're beginning on verse 4, and uh, we're finishing around, we're skipping a few verses and ending on verse 26. So here it goes. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them for the common good. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. 
there are different kinds of working, but in all of them, and in every one, it is the same God at work. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptised by one Spirit, so as to form one body. And so the body is not made up of one part, but of many parts. But God has put the body together, giving greater honour to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. So, moving on to our reflection and thinking about that reading and the image of a body and parts, arms, legs, eyes, ears, head. Now, how about thinking about a different image, an alternative image to translate, how could you rewrite that passage using an alternative image? And that's what I'd like you to just... Uh, Maybe pause me and have a little think on. Can you translate this reading into an alternative image to the body image Paul uses? Okay, so why don't you pause me and have a think about that. Well, I hope that uh, some, some good ideas, I'm sure some good ideas have come to mind. Maybe you thought about a machine or maybe um, a football team or maybe a clock, a sort of traditional mechanical clock. Uh, I wonder what you thought of and what your image was. I think it helps to really think about it and helps us to then revisit the reading again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the reading again, and, and maybe you can think about the image, the alternative image that you thought of. So here goes the reading. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them for the common good. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in every one it is the same God at work. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptised by one Spirit so as to form one body, and so the body is not made up of one part, but of many. But God has put the body together, giving greater honour to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. So I hope that uh, that reading has been thought-provoking and the idea of thinking about an alternative image has helped to help your reflections on that reading. Now, our second question, what skills and interests? And it's about what skills and interests do you have in life, in the everyday? Just think about those. I'm going to pause. Well, maybe you could make a list on a bit of paper or just number a few things off in your head. What are your skills and what are your interests? OK, so pause and just make a few notes. OK, I'd just like you to, uh, if you've written down those um, interests and those skills uh, or gifts that you have, I'd just like you to think about those, look at those lists, think about what you've been, the, the things that you've thought about. And uh, I just wonder how those could be used as part of Christ's body. How those can be used uh, to serve uh, the common good. How those could be used to serve society. And that's a question I'd like you to hold on to uh, for our prayers. And uh, for our prayers, I just want you to be hold on to that question. How can we serve society? And just be open to God's nudges while we while you listen to a song. 
So there's a, a link, link three, song two. Um, it's uh, a Thy Kingdom Come uh, song. We seek your kingdom. Um, just have a click on that song, listen to it, and just prayerfully listen and be open to God's nudges uh, or hints. Uh, just thinking about all the skills and gifts that you have and thinking about how can we serve society. Okay, so just go ahead, pause me, and click on that song two, link three. And let's pray together while we listen. We continue our prayers now by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son. Jesus is the sacrifice for our sins, that we might live through him. And if God loves us so much, then surely we ought to love one another. And if we love one another, then God lives in us. And now we come towards the end of the service and just before the blessing, just to highlight that our charity of the week this week is How Can We Wield Church itself uh, and the more information can be found about uh, that uh, in the further information uh, below the video picture. Now we have our feast and uh, today's challenge, if you want to just sort of break and share something, is uh, to create a picture out of some food and then break and share it, even if you're just on your own. Um, it's still nice to kind of have that thought about breaking it and sharing it with uh, those who worshipped on Sunday and those who have listened or listening to this podcast. So uh, that's your challenge to create a food picture or a picture using food. OK, so the blessing. May the Lord bless you and take care of you. May the Spirit fill you and guide you in living so that filled with the Spirit's power, you may go in the light and peace of Christ, using your everyday skills for God's glory. Amen. And if you'd like to finish off the service now um, and make your feast picture and eat it, why not do that listening to that song again, uh, We Seek Your Kingdom, and that link, I'll put the link again uh, at the bottom of the songs and the other links to listen, click that, listen to that, have your feast and uh, thank you for listening and worshipping with me. Okay, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>